<laughs> the government's in shutdown mode. That's reminding some of 1995 and 1996. We've got another debt ceiling drama on the horizon. That's giving investors some painful memories of 2011. But for dot-com investors, it's 1999 all over again. Let's party. Priceline is trading over $1,060 a share. It is the priciest stock in the S&P 500, near an all-time high. And it's not the only one. Yelp, near an all-time high. Facebook, near an all-time high. Netflix, all-time high. Yahoo at a multi-year high. What is going on here? Well, I think that a lot of these internet companies do have very strong growth ahead of them. They've got great revenue prospects and all these companies are profitable. So that's a big difference between now and the late 90s. But you do have to start wondering if this may be a bubble in the making. Many of these companies trading at unreasonable valuations. And it's not as if this is an industry where you know, competition doesn't exist. Obviously, a company like Priceline has to worry about others in the field like Expedia. You know, Netflix has to deal with Amazon, which is also near an all-time high. Facebook has to contend with Twitter, which is about to go public. So investors may be giddy right now and they're ignoring the whole shutdown and the rest of the drama in DC. But we've been here before. These dot-com stocks can't go up forever. <laughs>